Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From Colorado. Boulder, to be specific, and man, it has been beautiful out here. We were expecting to just be freezing all day, every day, but it's been amazing. I wouldn't even need this if I had an appropriate sweater on. <laughs> so if you guys caught our last video, you saw that we made our way over to Colorado to visit Allison's brother, who lives in the Boulder area now, but also to finally shake things up. We've been threatening it for a long time, but today we're going house hunting, y'all. Oh my gosh, it doesn't seem real. Yeah, we're a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> We've never done this before. We have, we are professional online house viewers. Yes, we are. <laughs> but we have never looked at one in person. We have very loose criteria. We're not sure exactly what we want to do. We probably are looking for something to fix up a little bit, but we don't want to completely build something from scratch or have to, com have to completely gut something like we did with Clementine. So we've picked out a few houses that are dotted all around the kind of Western Denver area. Some in the mountains, some more down South in the plains. Gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah. One thing they all have in common though, is that they are in just beautiful settings. Yes, they are. Right now, we are actually gonna head over and pick up Allison's brother. He's gonna come along with us and provide his expert insight. And as usual, we're a little late, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. fit back there it's a little tight yeah <laughs> and he's a big boy <laughs> yeah you look very comfortable yeah i'll manage adam is really good at being critical so we're going to use that to our advantage My and special. he's going to he's going to keep us grounded when we're looking at all these houses he's we're going to get all excited and he's going to pull us back down to reality right yep. nothing will ever be good enough <laughs> just the way we like it all right we're going to have some incredible views we're going to see some awesome quirky places hopefully find our dream ish home let's do it <laughs> almost made it to our first house and we are already super excited the drive has been beautiful it was only 30 minutes from downtown boulder and the town back there is adorable there's like a little cute liquor store a tavern there's, there's actually a coffee shop a coffee shop you know all of the essentials in life so needless to say i think we could live here we could definitely live here and i think we will say that at every stop today she had to put on the four-wheel drive just to back up <laughs> come on in come on in Kind of a tight spot, huh? <laughs> yep. Uh, it's cool though. Welcome to house number one, y'all. The cutest little cabin in the woods. It is uh, very rustic though. It was built, I think, in the 40s. Got a lot of quirks and charm. <laughs> yep. But surprisingly, the outside is in pretty decent condition. It's, I think, a third of an acre, something yeah. like that. Pretty small. Uh, we'd definitely prefer more land, but the views are pretty great. Oh. All right, first house. What are you thinking? It's got a lot of work that needs to be done. Yeah. It's really cute, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so the siding on the outside actually looks like it's in pretty good condition, but if you look closely, you see all these patches all over the place, and he said that's from woodpeckers. <laughs> and then also the house, it looks like they added rooms on over the years. Yeah, so, so it's, it's kind of patched together a little bit. Yeah. It's also a very small lot. It's like 0.3 acres or so. Yeah. And, uh, we wanted to just take a look at this and just see how we felt about it, but I think we pretty immediately realized we need more space and uh, probably a slightly bigger place, maybe. Maybe. And maybe something that needs a little bit less work. This might ultimately be like a vacation rental or something, so we have to decide how much work we want to put into it to get it to that point. Yeah. All right, onward to the next one. Okay. <laughs> So the next place is just like a couple miles down the road. So the way this is working, we can't really film inside because these are private residences and I think some people still actually use the places because they've been on the market for a long time. But we should be able to show you the outside without much of a problem. And we can describe the inside to you. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that's good enough. Yeah. I think I'm over. I had to switch into my boots. <laughs> Pretty treacherous out here. There's a lot more snow than I realized. Down in a boulder, a lot of the snow is gone and it was much warmer, but up in these mountains, it's a little breezy. Quite a bit of snow piled up. <laughs> and it's nasty. So this next place has a much better maintained road, which is nice, and the road's really wide. It's kind of tucked away here and has much more acreage. All things that I'm, I'm digging. Yeah, but I also think it's gonna need a lot of work. <laughs> Probably too much work, <laughs> but we'll see. I'm remaining hopeful. All right. 
right, house number two. Success, but not in the sense that we're ever going to purchase it and do anything with it, but we saw it. <laughs> and we are definitely learning what we are wanting to do with a house and not want to do and the size and the layout and everything. This house, for example, has been on the market for quite a while. It's gonna take a unique type of person to be able to inherit like how much work needs to be done here. It's a decently sized lot, but it's just too far gone. Yeah, there were some bad omens. Like uh, there's a huge fly infestation in addition to some very, very shoddy work. Yeah, the outside, there's the siding was kind of slopped together. And then we looked at some of the foundation and all the decking and the, the foundation itself is pretty poor. So. Yeah. Way too much work, but, but it's given us a good reference point for the next places we're going to look at. Yes, exactly. On to more. So first negative marks is uh, this is the neighborhood and there's kind of a couple trailers. <laughs> you drive up through the beautiful mountains and then all of a sudden it's just kind of cleared out and there's just a bunch of kind of trash and stuff all around. All right, we found it, that's it. House number three. It's so cute. House number three in the books. Definitely the best we've seen today. A lot of potential. Just being in there, we were inspired and you could just see what it could be, I guess. Yeah. I mean, look at it, it's so pretty. It is it's so on this cute. little corner lot, the views are incredible. Yeah, now a little blueberry home with red accents is not necessarily what we had in mind. We might repaint it, although it is a bummer, they just did it and it looks so nice, but it has everything hooked up already. You could move in and just start living here. It'd be great. The foundation is wonderful. The crawl space underneath is really well taken care of and insulated. This one's definitely contender, no yeah. doubt about it. What are you thinking, Adam? How's this one grabbing you? It's good. Definitely the best yet, right? Yeah. Definitely the least amount of work to get it where it needs to be. So you're definitely gonna come out here, help us work on it, right? Yeah, I got this. You guys yeah. can actually just go, you know, stay in the city if you want and relax and I'll just oh, yeah. do it all right. by myself. Uh, for zero pay, obviously. Well, maybe not for... <laughs> Zero. Okay. All right, I'll give you five bucks an hour. How's that sound? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, that's it for today, though. We're going to postpone more. the rest of them for later in the week. Yeah, I guess. We've got at least three more, I think, that we're going to go see. Until then. Until then. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, we just experienced our first Colorado snowstorm. We had like five, maybe six inches come through overnight. It is so pretty out here. And this morning we looked out and we saw deer in the yard. Even though we're just off of Pearl Street now, like the busy street in Boulder. Yeah, it was the last thing I thought I was gonna see, but man, it was so adorable. I sat here for like 30 minutes watching them. Oh yeah, we were both creeping on them all morning. But that means that we had to cancel all of our viewings today. We were supposed to go up into the mountains, like actually kind of two hours from here into the depths to see more houses. Our realtor made the call and he knows better than we do. Yeah, so. exactly. We were waiting for him to kind of tell us. We were like, well, we do have a big VP truck. We probably could have get around, but if he doesn't want to do it, I definitely don't want to do it because he's a native. So I guess that means we have no choice but to have a snow day. We're just going to chill inside, watch some TV. Was that the door? That was the door. Who is here? I don't who know. Someone, someone who can get through a lot of snow. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's HelloFresh. What perfect timing. And you guessed it. HelloFresh is sponsoring today's video. <laughs> Obviously, we just set all that up. This box is empty. <laughs> We've been eating on this for like three days already. <laughs> Anyway, let's make lunch. HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce and pre-portioned ingredients from the farm to you in less than seven days. So you know that you're getting the freshest stuff. It's even in the name, right there. It sure is. <laughs> Always make sure your Airbnb has a cutting board because this is what I'm doing <laughs> right now. <laughs> So I'm sure like a lot of the rest of you, we overindulged a bit over the holidays, but now it's the new year. We're trying to focus on our health a bit more, but mainly trying to not eat out so much. We have been ordering pretty much every meal out for the past week. It's a problem. <laughs> it's a big problem. As you all know, we've also been trying to save money where we can, especially now that we are potentially house hunting. And it turns out that HelloFresh is actually 25% cheaper than takeout. So not only are we saving money, but it's also so much fun to make your own meal. I mean, look at this. It looks just like the photo. If you go to HelloFresh.com and use the code ENDLESSADVENTURE21, you are getting 21 free meals 
plus free shipping. 21 of these, baby. Oh my Can't gosh. Recommend. All right, well, even though it's a snow day, it ended up being pretty lovely. We get to watch the snow falling outside. We're eating freaking pasta. I'm hanging out with my love. <laughs> <laughs> but we are very much looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow, y'all. Even though we saw some real stinkers out there, <laughs> it was still a lot of fun getting out there and just, I don't know, being in houses that could potentially be ours and trying to see ourselves living in these places. It's pretty wild. Well, good morning, y'all. We woke up to a bit of a problem today. <laughs> kind of took the wind out of our sails a little bit. So our big plan today was to head out to a new area that we hadn't been to before and look at a few properties. One was this really awesome cabin that was on the bigger side. We're not sure if we want something small or big, so we really wanted to check out this cabin. And then at the last minute, someone put a contract on it. So our realtor broke the news to us on that this morning. We were pretty sad. Then there was this other property that was this really incredible looking A-frame. It's way out in the middle of nowhere, but it sits on three acres and it just looks so stunning. Of course, we'd have to do a lot of work on the inside of it, but we were prepared to do that. But our realtor had a discussion with the seller and it turns out they are only willing to accept cash. That's it. And we're not wanting to tie up all our money in one single property. So that one made us pretty sad because we were pretty excited about that little A-frame. We had grand plans for it, but no more. So obviously we're pretty bummed that those two viewings got canceled. They were the ones that we were most excited about, but we're gonna try to make the best of a bad situation. And we realized that we haven't even actually been out to this one area, the Como Jefferson area of Colorado. So we're just gonna go explore. We're gonna go take a nice drive through the mountains, explore some of the mountain towns and see what it's like out there. And if maybe we would hate it anyway, maybe this was totally awesome that this happened because it's the worst place on earth yeah i'm sure we'll hate the snow covered mountains right but we'll for sure debrief with you guys let you know what we thought about the properties we saw and what we're thinking with those but uh, i guess for now we've got to go out into the mountains right poor chuck the truck is covered <laughs> <laughs> he's got a whole bed full of snow oh my gosh <laughs> it's oh come on mister how many inches would you say about five or so let's see yeah about five inches yeah are you guys wondering why i have a spatula <laughs> it was allison's idea yeah so this was her big idea this works pretty good yeah <laughs> oh man that snow really cakes on you and then all of a sudden you're completely wet <laughs> So I figure it's a good idea to just give you guys kind of a lay of the land. So when you're heading out west through Kansas into Colorado, the whole thing is just crazy flat. And then right when you get into the Denver area, you can start to see the mountains off in the distance, which is basically the front range. Boulder and Denver both kind of sit at the foot of those mountains. And that area is very famous because there are several peaks that are over 14,000 feet above sea level. So you can see them from all around. And that's the area that we've been looking at land and houses because it's mountainous, it's beautiful, you get amazing views, and it's a lot cheaper than stuff that's like in Denver. So we've been staying in Boulder and the areas we've been looking are golden, then there's a town called Idaho Springs that we've visited before, so we've been kind of looking in that area. Then if you head further south, there's a bunch of other towns like Bailey and Evergreen and Conifer. Even further out, like if you go an hour and a half or so west of Denver, you'll find Como, Fair Play, Jefferson. So we've been looking in basically all of those different areas. They're just far enough away that the price goes way down, but close enough that if you flew in, you could drive out there and it wouldn't ruin your whole day. Really, we just wanted to get a sense of the area. So that's what we're gonna do right now since we don't have any more properties to view. We're gonna head out to Evergreen. We're gonna scope out that town because we've been looking at a lot of properties in that area because if we live near it, you know, we wanna know what it's all about, right? <laughs> I guess it's probably a good idea to know where you potentially are going to live, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all, we made it to Evergreen and they have a big old lake that is completely frozen that they put an ice rink on. And y'all, it's terrifying. Yeah, it's just so crazy to know that there's like death below you. I mean, there's, there's cracks all over it. You can see like frozen bubbles in there. There are quite a few people out here. Nobody else has fallen through yet. So the odds of me being the one person have to be pretty slim, right? They set this up as a huge ice skating rink, but they're not open. Nobody's there. The place is all locked up. So everyone's just walking on the ice. It's a nice little ice trail. Woo Holy cow, this is slick willy. <laughs> Pretty good moonwalk, eh? Forward moonwalk? I'm going backwards. 
About how deep is it? Uh, 17 inches. 17, oh, okay. 17, 20, yeah. To get to the lake, you have to drive through the charming little downtown of Evergreen. But what's really cool is this. This is Evergreen Lake, and it completely freezes over in the winter. So yes, we are still on very thick, thick ice right here. Not thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> but on the lake, you're gonna see all these little tents. People are actually ice fishing through little holes that they've made in the lake. And then they have this area over here that's cut out where they've made several different rinks. People are skating all around the outside, but you can also rent these individual rinks by the hour. So you can bring your whole family out, play a little ice hockey. <laughs> Or just fall on your butt, which is what happens to me. But I haven't fallen yet. Haha. -ha. Allison keeps trying to get me to stick my hand in there. Just to confirm that it's 14 inches. <laughs> get real. Should I see how cold it is though? Woohoo! Oh my god. Insta frostbite. Oh my god. That is maybe the coldest water I've ever touched in my entire life. That's like glacier cold. <laughs> Makes you want to drink it. Can I drink it? Sure, probably. Man, I'll probably get a microbe and die. Well, that was really cool exploring Evergreen. Uh, super charming spot, I really like it. But next up, we are heading out much further west. We are getting deep into the heart of the mountains, you guys. We've really been looking at a lot of property out in the Jefferson Fair Play area, but it's like two, two and a half hours or so outside of Denver. So we figured we should go out there, stay there for a while, see how we like it, you know? Maybe creep on some houses that we've seen online. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, there is another house, this little cabin that we have our eye on that is in the uh, Jefferson area. So maybe we'll take a look at that while we're out there. But we're just gonna chill. We're gonna live that mountain life. We're gonna see how it feels to spend some time out there. So I'm sure you guys are all wondering what we're thinking about those three properties we saw. The third one, the little blue and red house, is our favorite so far, obviously. And we're still thinking about that, thinking of ways we can make it our own. We are definitely just beginning our house search. Those are just the only three properties properties we've looked at, so I'm sure it'll take time. It would have been a miracle had we picked one of these and, and yeah. stuck with it. We so. were secretly hoping we get lucky, but we need a lot more time. Yeah. Also, we just wanted to give you guys a huge, huge, huge thank you. Our last video came out before we started filming this one, and we didn't realize quite uh, the overwhelming response we were going to get from all of you. All of the support and love you guys have sent our way. We're just so happy to have an awesome community like you guys to help us through times like this. A lot of you guys said you were going through very similar exactly. things. So obviously, you know, we can commiserate together. Yeah. So yeah, sad things happen, but um, hopefully we can all move forward together with lots of love and happiness. All right, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.